Welcome to another TCTV setup guide from Secure Account. Today we're going to be looking at how to look at the information on a TV, PC or laptop. The products we'll be using in this video are live CCTV viewing software. So we're just going to take a bit of time now to have a look at how we can run and check our CCTV camera systems on laptops or PCs. So first thing you need to do is use your program disk that you get with at the DVR, pop it into your CD drive. and it will run and will follow the information on the screen. Great, so once the disk is inside, uh, it will give you a prompt option, so we'll just hit um, yes to this, it will take us through to the setup. Great, so what we're going to do is select the English option just here, and hit software at the top. and the CMS option at the top of the screen just there as well. So we're going to again choose the English option and you can read the information, it's basically just welcoming you and tell you where it's going to download the file and the program to. And we'll press next and it will download and install the program onto the system for us. Great stuff, so we'll hit finish and it should load our program for us. So again, we'll choose English, and we'll head straight in. There's no password for this, but then my purposes only. Excellent. So it says the device list is empty at the moment. So it does give you prompts in which to, to go through and set up a camera onto your system here. So we're going to get system device and system device manager. So once we're on the home screen just here, if we head down to the right hand side you'll see an icon for system. So we'll just open up the system and head up to device manager, which is the red button just at the top here. What we need to do then is in our zone lists we need to add an area. So this is going to be office workspace, um, wherever the camera setup is going to be. So we'll pop demo just in here, demo upstairs. And we'll hit OK. So that'll set us a zone. So once we've got our zone set up, if we just uh, click on here and add device, um, quite an easy, we can just click on IP search, which will then search the IP address for the connection. And there we go. So we'll select the IP address from the top of the screen, automatically pop the details in for us, head down to OK, and we should have the connection. So we'll go back to the home screen from there, and you'll see your IP address in the devices section down the left hand side. So this is effectively now the connection. So if you had eight cameras, you would have all eight cameras just on the left hand side. What we need to do is select this camera, which is what we're going to choose, drag it across, and drop it into camera one section. Double click, and the connection has then been made.